Hello, Erie. I hope this video works out for you. Well, <clears throat> I don't look so good on this video. I look better in the mirror. <laughs> anyway, I love you, Erie. Actually, I love whoever's watching this, because I'm sure there's people all over the world watching this video right now. And I just wanted to say, believe in yourself, okay? Love yourself. I believe in you, but when you believe in you, then, then that's the real money. Believe in yourself. Follow your dreams. Okay, let me tell you something. This whole thing is about following your heart. It's about believing in yourself. Okay, I I'm going to tell you a story. I wasn't going to do this. I didn't want to get real personal, but actually, now that I think about it, I think that's a good thing. I th no, I know it's a good thing. Because, uh, you know... <sighs> I really can't afford to be too, um, I don't know what the word is, secretive or uh, ooh, closed off or whatever anymore. I just, and I just don't want to, you know? I'm me, okay? And when I was a kid, I remember I was different from what I am now, but not much. Because but what a lot of people don't realize is I'm the same now. Even my family doesn't realize that I am the same as I was when I was a kid, only way, way better because I've been through all the stuff that I've been through. And you know what? I have no regrets in my life. I thank God for all the bad things, okay? I thank God for that I was molested, I was raped. I thank God that I did the stupid things to myself like drugs, alcohol, and cigarettes. Because all that stuff is gone, it's over with. But I can use that as an experience to help others. That's my whole goal in life is to help other people. You can't help people by telling them stuff. You can't help them by saying, I love you, necessarily. You can show them that you love them, but you can't help them by saying, you can do it, I believe in you. Usually that doesn't help people. They have to see you doing the things that you know that you can do. Because I believe in myself now, and I can follow my dreams. <laughs> it's the greatest thing in the world. First, the greatest thing was that Jesus loved me, okay? That was the greatest thing. But then, he loved me till I could love myself. And, of course, he still loves me, and he loves all of you out there. But, now, I believe in myself, too. Now, that's, that's, that's pretty awesome, if I have to say. It really is a great feeling, but it's not just a feeling anymore. It's, it's a, a belief that's embedded in me that I know that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I got my master's degree last year. I've been homeless for two years and it's all ending right now in, in the next couple of days. I'm going to update you on that. That's a whole other story. But I didn't go and live with some man or something like that. I don't believe in having sex before marriage. You believe what you want to believe, but I can't make you believe anything. But I wrote a book about men and about how women should act in order to get the man that they say that they want. The man that, that you say that you want, ladies. Okay, but you can't just say one thing and mean something totally different because your actions will speak louder than words. And believe me, I know this from personal experience as well. Okay. I was with a, a, a man who beat me for 10 years and told me that he loved me. Okay, he didn't love me because he didn't even like himself. He didn't like me. Okay, he loved to hurt me. He loved my food. He loved my money. But he did not love me. Okay, and I just thank God I know the truth now.
And I'm not sitting over here trying to define what love is either. That's another problem with people. You try to define what love is and you're never going to understand it. Because every person out there is different, okay? Everybody's different. We all are special, but we all show love in different ways, okay? So you have to, I read this book, uh, Gary Chapman, The Five Languages of Love. That was awesome. And that's true. There's a lot of truth to what he's saying in that book. But I just want you to know, people, ladies, gentlemen, kids, everybody, believe in yourself because there's no limit to what you can do. Once you know that you can believe in yourself and just act accordingly. Don't even think about what might not happen or what might happen. Just know the results that you want to get and then just go after it. Okay? Because you can do it and I do believe in you. And I do love you. I don't know all of you. And there's certain people out there that are special to me, of course. I'm human. I'm not God. Okay? But there's some special people to me out there. And you know who you are, hopefully. If you don't, send me an email and I'll tell you. But I love you people. And I want you to love yourselves and go after your dreams. And this maybe this is a little bit too long. It's a little over six minutes. But I hope you're still listening and just follow your dreams and keep watching. Keep watching me, okay? Because I'm going to surprise you. All right? And please feel free to drop me an email. I don't know how to put those things in the, you know, I can barely upload a video at this point. But I'm going to try to put the little links and in in all that in there so you can send me emails, okay? But until then my you can get me on Facebook Liberty Love but my name is Liberty V Justice that's my real name Liberty V Justice and you can always contact me you can always uh, uh, Google me email me Facebook me uh, there's always ways Godly Renegade G O D L Y R E N E G A D E 78 at yahoo.com drop me a line I'd love to hear uh, your response to this I love to hear about you following your dreams or the dreams that you'd like to follow but maybe you're not quite you're still a little nervous about it or something let me know please let me know alright thank you thank you for watching